I'm Janice Chapman, and I teach art uh, first, third, and fourth grades at Washington Franklin. This is a Missouri Bicentennial Paint for a Cause mural, and we have two artists from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Um, they have the Painted Wren Gallery, and they came up with a design to celebrate Missouri's Bicentennial uh, year, which is, we still have a year and a half to wait for that, but they would like to have the mural finished by then. Um, they are aiming for about 20,000 painters, and they have already broken the Guinness World Book of Records. Uh, 5,000 is the largest number to paint on any one item. So they are here today and we are each painting a triangular portion of the mural so that we can help get it ready to hang in the Truman Building in Jefferson City. How did you hear about this project and um, how were you able to contact these individuals and get them to come to Farmington of all places? Uh, I have a friend, Brandon Crawford, and he is an artist, he's a welder, and um, he told me about this. He was at an art gathering with these people and he said, Janice, you have to have these people come and paint. Your kids have to do this. So anyway, I talked to Mr. Horrell at the gallery and um, they agreed to come into Farmington. It's been a couple days to let our kids paint. About how many Farmington students will be working on this project and what are their age ranges? Um, all of the students who are at Lincoln should have the opportunity to paint either today or tomorrow. And um, then uh, Mrs. Kennedy, the art teacher at the middle school, uh, brought her advanced uh, art students over just a little while ago. She'll bring another group tomorrow. Um, Ms. Burke is here with us trying to help the uh, fifth and sixth graders go through and paint today and then tomorrow there are just a very small group of kids from Washington Franklin some of my students that I selected and they'll be coming over to paint so there will be a couple of fourth graders uh, some third graders and a couple of first graders are coming to paint so 700 students something like that we hope in a couple of days you know what the word bicentennial means The state of Missouri is going to be celebrating its 200th birthday on August 10th, 2021, which is about a year and a half from now. We are doing a ginormous mural for Missouri's 200th birthday. And we have one panel here, which is uh, the St. Louis Arch. The pictures on here are 18 of Missouri's state symbols, which the arch is not a state symbol, but everybody knows when they see the arch, that's Missouri, St. Louis. And then this is the Capitol building. We're traveling around the state to various communities and schools, and we, we hope to have 15 to 20,000 people participate by the time we're finished. And right now we're over 7,200 people have painted. And the Guinness World Book of Records says that the record for the most people to paint a painting is 5,000 children in South America painting on bed sheets. We don't know what happened to the bed sheets, but this is gonna be a real painting that's gonna hang in the Capitol building for anybody to go in and see Probably the Truman Building. Or the Truman Building, what did I say? Capitol. Capitol yeah, the Truman Building, um, which is next to the Capitol Building. There's 15 of the state symbols. The state symbols makes this relevant for the uh, uh, 200th birthday of the state of Missouri uh, because this is Missouri state symbols. These were designated by the state legislature over the years. From time to time, they designate another one. Uh, all of these things, I think, Everything here is native, I believe, except for the honeybee, which is came, it came from Europe several years back. Uh, I think everything else is native. The dinosaur was found in um, the Marble Hill area, and uh, it's the only dinosaur that uh, so far to date has been found in the state of Missouri that's had enough bones that they could piece it together and say that's what it looks like. We already have that panel painted. The crawdad panel, panel is done, the channel catfish, the state game fish panel is already finished, the fiddle, the state musical instrument is finished. A lot of people say, what is this? Why is, why is that ice cream cone there? Do you know? Yes. Yeah, so the ice cream cone, they designate the ice cream cone as Missouri State Dessert. Yeah, I like blackberry cobbler, but so what? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, the backdrop, the red, white, and blue, is the Missouri state flag. The state seal is the first state symbol 
which is right in the middle. And uh, in the state of Missouri, there's about six million people coming and going and working and doing all the things they do. Uh, when we finish this, we think we'll probably have about 15,000 plus people to paint. 15,000 is like that many. Six million would be like that many, a whole lot more. You're very lucky that we get to your school and you're able to be a part of this. This is amazing because we have already set the record for the most people to paint a painting or a mural or however you want to describe it. We've already set the record we're 2,000 plus people more than the Guinness Book of World Records recognizes. And we're going to go higher each time one of you paint. You're setting a new world record. How cool is that? We're doing this not for a world record. It just happens that the world record will be broken, has been broken. We're not doing it because of that. We're doing it because we want a great birthday present given to the state of Missouri by the people of the state of Missouri using your hands. Barb and I are best of Missouri hands artists, which means we belong to an elite group of artists who uh, paint. And there's about 60 of them in the, or of us in the state of Missouri. And we're using your hands. This is pretty awesome. We're using your hands. We're, giving paint, we're putting paint on the brush, handing you the brush, and you're painting. You get to paint each individual person. So we're using your hands. Best of Missouri hands. It fits. <laughs> We're given the best thing possible. Everybody. E everybody. Even the lieutenant governor and his daughter, they painted on the fiddle panel uh, this summer. And U.S. Senator Roy Blunt painted just one triangle. And we hope to meet the governor next year when we go to Jefferson City. And he'll be like everybody else. He'll get just one triangle to paint. No more than you. Mm -hmm. no. We came today. There was only a few... A few triangles painted at the top, painted by uh, the man. Uh, Hank Lopez is his name. If you'll put him on TV, that'd be great. Uh, anyway, he and his wife painted up there on the very top. He took the photograph that we're using for this. These and photographs were taken. Barb took the picture of the bee. Uh, I took pictures of several of them. Uh, Hank took the picture of the arch. I want to thank the artist, Mr. Horrell and Miss Bailey, for being here and um, letting us be participants in this. And I'd also like to uh, thank everybody that I worked with in the school district and allowing the artists to be here and letting the kids participate in this. I think it'll it'll be a really neat thing. And what I think it is really really neat about it is there'll be a database that so when these kids are 40 years old and they're married, they can go to Jefferson City on a field trip with their family and they can type in their name or say their name and it will show that they were a part of it and that they painted the triangle.